All across the world researchers have discovered incredible megalithic structures. Although they are impressive, they have continued to puzzle engineers and archaeologists in the modern era. Not only are these structures impossible to replicate in current times, but they were seen as monumental and impossible tasks for our ancient ancestors. How they built these structures is widely unknown, and has caused a massive stir in the archaeological communities. How could our ancient ancestors build such incredible structures in a time when it was deemed impossible? Various theories have been put forward to try and explain them, but the majority of these are just theories and are still up for debate. However, recently researchers have announced that one of Stonehenge's mysteries has been solved. Always a major fascination amongst the locals of the area and researchers from around the world, Stonehenge has proven to be quite a mystery to anyone who even attempts to understand its construction and the techniques behind it. Not only are the large blocks used so massive, that even modern means of construction would fail in regards to establishing Stonehenge, but the sources of the blocks appear to have been carved from hundreds of miles away, which lead many researchers to question the ability of transporting such large stones to the area. To add to this bizarre strangeness of the formation of Stonehenge, it's been discovered that the structure appears to have been built with astonishing precision in its placement and carved creation. The structure appears to be able to be used as a complex calendar, and can keep track of time to an incredibly mysterious accurate degree. However, this does insinuate that not only did the ancients have the technology to cut the stones with laser precision, transport the massive blocks, lift them with tremendous force and place them with perfect alignment, but that our ancestors also had the ability to make megalithic structures in a very short span of time. This continues to baffle researchers to this day who work to uncover more secrets regarding Stonehenge, such as its weird electromagnetic properties and special materials used in its creation. Others have even argued that the formation of the Great Stonehenge could be direct proof of ancient technologies and extraterrestrial intervention. Researchers and scientists don't agree with this notion though, and have even said they've unraveled one of its mysteries and this is where the famous large stones come from. Before this discovery, researchers only knew that the stones had been placed there around 2500 BC, but a new study carried out by researchers at the University of Brighton have announced that they've traced the stones to a woodland close to Wiltshire. It's here that they say the stones originated, and back when the monument was being constructed, this area would have been rich with these large sarsen boulders the rocks that were used to build Stonehenge. Further studies showed the team that the ancient civilization would have chosen these giant boulders because of their size, and how flat they were. This in turn is thought to have helped the prehistoric workers to have moved the stones. Interestingly, the team said that not only did they use these giant stones for Stonehenge, but they also used them to construct other structures. The team also said that over a thousand years before Stonehenge was constructed, the giant blocks would have been used to construct a massive local prehistoric tomb. This would have been for important individuals in the region. The archaeologists have said it's an exciting discovery, and that now they're trying to work out the route in which the workers took to transport them. Although the team said they made great progress, they still said they want to work out how the workers transported these 15 to 45 tonne stones over 15 miles. When looking into the route though, they said this would have been no easy task, as during some of these trips, these giant boulders would have had to have been hauled up an incline for several hundred meters. As of right now, more studies needed to determine how these ancient workers achieved this. Interestingly though, those who have looked into Stonehenge have said there's more than what meets the eye. For years, an archaeological site of significant importance has always been a major fascination amongst the locals of the area, and researchers from around the world, and that location is Stonehenge. And those who studied the interesting monument have said it's proven to be quite a mystery to anyone who even attempts to try and understand it. When researchers attempted to better understand the strange electromagnetic phenomenon experienced at Stonehenge, they began to put forward a theory when plotting on a map a number of different megalithic monuments, 
that points to the idea of one long and massive road that seems to have connected the monuments in a straight line. This would later lead to the theory that the spiritual placement of Stonehenge was that of a mystical property, and that this invisible road could have been referenced to a mystical line of energy that ran around the world known as a ley line. Though no one is quite sure that ley lines are responsible for it, it is believed there is a connection with that of the Earth's electromagnetic field, and a property of mystical energy surrounding the entire monument. Ley lines are lines that cut across the Earth spotted with landmarks and historic structures, and convey alongside them flowing Earth energies, and these energies are concentrated at the points the lines meet. The concept behind the line started with amateur archaeologist and businessman Alfred Watkins in 1921. This is when he realised that ancient sites appear to be lined up with others close by. He drew lines on his map to show that people that lived in Old Britain travelled in a straight line pattern, with major man-made or natural sites falling in this line. In his 1925 book, The Old Straight Track, he suggested that ancient Roman and medieval structures across the globe fall within these straight lines, but his proposal was rejected by experts and archaeological scholars. His fault finders noticed that his thoughts depended on drawing lines between destinations set up at various times of the past. They additionally contended that in ancient times it was unfeasible to go in a straight line over bumpy or rugged zones in Britain, rendering his ley lines far-fetched as trade routes. A year later, Watkins' followers started the Straight Line Club, and in 1927 Watkins published a book titled The Ley Line Hunters, to help those interested in finding their own ley lines. The New Age movement interest in ley lines started in the 1960s by Earth Mysteries movement, growing from something ordinary to a whole field of study, with more published books, research and fans, gathering together to dig deeper and find new paths that ley lines led to. Most believe these lines had supernatural powers or mysterious energies, even though Watkins never had that thought in the beginning. Other paranormal subjects have infused the concepts of ley lines to include things like UFOs and Atlantis. Critics to this day feel that until ley lines are proven scientifically, it cannot be taken seriously as most of the connected lines are mere coincidence. Ley lines remain a mystery, and whether or not they are true, it goes to show man's interest in finding patterns in everything around us. It's interesting to think how far humanity has come in regards to structures. We've built some incredible ones in the modern day, but some of the most impressive and mysterious are those that our ancient ancestors built. Although we step closer to understanding how they did it, sometimes discoveries can throw up more questions than answers. These interesting discoveries and monuments make for interesting conversations, and perhaps one day we'll be able to look back and understand just how they did it. So what do you make of this recent discovery? And how do you think the prehistoric workers were able to get the slabs to the Stonehenge location? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.